hair is so pretty. I'm I put my hair in braids. I just caught myself by accident opening this. Day five is this sunscreen. Day six is this Roman blasting melting balm. I got a few packages today and the two things I want to show you guys from the package are these Miffy items. Look at how cute. So I got this Miffy 2024 planner and then this Miffy pop socket. I'm going to open it right now so I can put it on my new phone case. It's fuzzy. My finger's bleeding again. I'm going to have to put a band-aid on it now. Why is nothing opening properly today? Anyways, I'm gonna put this on my phone. If I can manage to get it out. I finally got it open, that took way too long. That's so cute. This is actually the cutest planner I've ever seen. I can't wait to start using it. It even has some months from 2023, so I can still use it. And then at the back, it even has these stickers for like birthday or like dinner. I have to leave soon because I'm meeting up with Isabella. Today's probably my last day seeing her before I leave Canada. So I got her an early birthday gift because I'm not gonna be here for her birthday. I went to the mall today and I got her a volume of blue lock because she likes blue lock i also love blue lock and i had a little face for it i'm also giving her some skincare items and then for her card i got her this it has a monkey on it because it's like an inside joke between us we love sending monkey reels on instagram i have nowhere to put my laptop on my desk because it's so messy right now It is the next day and I have a nail appointment to go to right now. I actually haven't gotten my nails done in so long. I've been trying to just keep my natural nails for a while because they were so damaged. And they're finally starting to heal but I decided to just get my nails done today because I'm leaving Canada soon and I just want a fresh pretty set of nails before I leave. And also if I don't have my nails done, I end up picking my hangnails really badly. I think it has to do with the fact that I don't have pretty nails so I don't care. But yeah, I've always had a really bad habit of picking my hangnails and lately it got so worse. This is so bad, I actually need to stop. I'm kind of scared it's gonna sting when I get them done because there's so much like open skin. I actually forgot I had this Stussy or Stussy sweater. I don't really know how to pronounce the brand exactly. But yeah, that's why I decided to randomly wear it today. Funny story is this is actually my sister's hoodie and she's had it ever since i was in middle school but i remember back in middle school and high school i would always steal this hoodie from her and wear it to school and she would get mad i always love this sweater because the logo is in pink and in the back too it's pink but yeah now my sister kindly offered to give it to me since she doesn't really wear it anymore I'm back home and I wanted to show you guys my nails. They're so pretty. I'm obsessed. I kind of regret not getting them a bit longer. Also, don't mind these scabs. If you remember from my previous video, I hurt my hand. And now I have these scabs and they're not going away. I actually hate them. So I'm hoping there's a way to like laser them off or something. <laughs> ready right now to go skating with my friends olivia bobo and rebecca this is gonna be my last time seeing them before i leave because olivia and rebecca are also going on exchange we're all going to different countries i think the last time i went was two years ago and i actually filmed it too
This is my outfit for today. I put my hair in braids and then put bows in. I think it looks so cute. And then this skirt also has bows. I'm also wearing pink leg warmers and I just think everything in this outfit matches so well in terms of color. I know a lot of you guys have been really curious for the past few months I've seen your DMs and comments guessing where I'm going and asking me where I'm going And it just made me really grateful that you guys are excited for this before I tell you guys where I'm going I'm gonna do a little explanation in case you're new to my channel or you forgot what this is about So basically I applied to my school's exchange program back in November last year And then I got my results and placement in April and that's when I made that video updating you guys about my exchange program But saying I would reveal the country later on fast forward to now I'm leaving Canada in four days and my semester abroad starts in January Anyways, I'm gonna tell you guys where I'm studying abroad I don't know why I made this such a big deal and dragged it on this long and didn't tell you guys I was just a little nervous to mention it on my channel and wanted to mention it closer to when I'm actually going abroad So I'm gonna be studying abroad in Hong Kong. Oh my god, I finally said it So yeah, I'm going to Hong Kong and I'm so excited. I've never been to Hong Kong So this is kind of a jump out of my comfort zone, which was something I really wanted for exchange I've never lived outside of home or by myself so I just really wanted a new experience and wanted to try studying abroad in a whole different country by myself oh yeah and the school that I'm studying at is HKU which I believe is a really well-known school in Hong Kong so I'm happy about that so to kind of explain to you guys my thought process and how I chose the country basically for the exchange application my school makes us do a ranking of up to 15 countries and schools they really recommend you to fill up the 15 spots because if you don't get your first choice they're just gonna keep going down the list so you get placed somewhere I'm gonna pull up my ranking list right now because I have a screenshot of it so I have it right here if you remember from my past video where I talked about exchange I mentioned how my top choices were Singapore but I didn't get placed to my top choice and I got placed to my fourth choice which was Hong Kong so yeah my top three choices were Singapore but all different schools I don't really know why at the time I really wanted Singapore at the time I was applying 
applying i really wanted singapore for some reason but i also really wanted hong kong but after i got my placement i was actually a lot happier that i got hong kong instead anyways for my fourth ranking i put hong kong hku and then for my fifth ranking i put paris for sixth i put spain seventh i put hong kong again but it was a different school eight i put japan but it was nagoya because my school doesn't offer tokyo we only have nagoya and beppu and i remember reading past exchange reports and someone mentioned that they would get lonely at night at nagoya and it wasn't as fun so when i read that I was just like maybe i shouldn't rank it that high but i still wanted to experience like studying in japan ninth i put paris again but a different school tenth i put england so originally my top choice and my dream exchange school was always yonze in korea i remember even before i applied to shulik which is the school i go to right now i always had in mind that i wanted to study abroad in korea at yonze my school always had yonze and other korean universities as partner schools but of course right when it was my year to apply and go on exchange no students from Yonsei or Korean universities came to Shulik which is my school right now so the exchange couldn't happen and they just didn't have Yonsei or Korea as an option so at the time I was kind of bummed out about that but now that I think about it I'm actually really glad that happened because I feel like exchange and studying abroad should be like a complete new experience but I've been to Korea a lot so I feel like going on exchange in Korea would kind of defeat the point and purpose of like studying abroad and experiencing new things like obviously it would have been really fun and like I would have loved it but I'm just really glad I got Hong Kong anyways I feel like I rambled for so long my throat is like hurting but also i forgot to mention that i'm going to korea first before i go to hong kong because now i'm on winter break and i have all this free time before my exchange semester starts in january so i wanted to visit korea during this time to see my grandparents and also i've really been missing korea i've actually never been to korea during the winter though so i'm really excited for that every time i've been to korea it's always been in the summer and then from korea i have a flight to hong kong right before my semester starts so yeah so many exciting things are happening and i'm really looking forward forward to all of it of course also to film and document it for you guys my next video is going to be in korea so stay tuned for that i have a lot of mixed feelings right now because i'm going to be away from home for so long and i don't know it's just not hitting me that next semester i'm going to be living a complete different life and like lifestyle from my usual daily life but that's what i've wanted i've always wanted change and i was always just kind of bored of like my everyday life <laughs> Now leaving Canada in three days which is crazy to say because it still hasn't hit me that I'm leaving so soon but besides that point I need to start packing I'm gonna be away from home for six months so I have to pack for that which is so overwhelming I should have kind of started before not only do I have to pack for Korea but I also have to pack for my study abroad semester in Hong Kong because I'm flying straight from Korea to Hong Kong I'm honestly kind of lost and don't know where to start for packing I wrote out a packing list so I don't forget anything for now, I'm going to start packing my bag to take to Hong Kong even though I'm going to Korea first Just because I feel like the luggage I'm taking to Hong Kong is more important I'm definitely going to need a lot of my favorite long pants There's so many clothing items I want to take to Hong Kong But I know I can't fit it all in this one luggage bag Because I'm only taking this one luggage bag and a carry-on So yeah, I don't know how I'm going to fit everything in here I got these Mila Kuma pouches for packing from Yestal and look at how cute they are. Now it's time to pack basic necessities. Since my dorm has communal washrooms, I made sure to remember to bring like baskets or stuff that I can store like shampoo, body wash, because I'm gonna have to carry this back and forth from my room to the washroom. And then I have a set of new skincare items that I'm gonna bring to Hong Kong, cotton pads, this unopened and honey shampoo. I'm actually using this shampoo right now and I love it. I'm also bringing some medication like Advil. I also wanna bring at least like one of my plushies like in the back because I want my dorm to somewhat feel cozy and and my vibe. I also still have to pack perfume, camera gear, backpacks, and bags. I think for today I'm gonna leave it at this because I still have two more days to pack. Wait, where's the lighter?
I hurt myself. No, don't leave us. <laughs> Good luck in Hong Kong, Tracy. got home from hanging out with my friends today was my last day seeing them before leaving and today was my last day going out to hang out with friends starting tomorrow i don't have time to see anyone since i'm only gonna have two days left till i'm leaving to korea today felt very weird because it was like my last time hanging out with anyone in canada i wanted to show you guys what my friends got me they got me going away gifts my friend malaya got me sanrio items because she knows i like sanrio stuff this is a chromey phone holder so cute and then she got me these tissues and it has my melody on them and this is perfect for traveling and then she gave me this picture frame of us and then my friends chris and renee got me a bunch of chromey stuff again they got me this chromey keychain this chromey candy you can click this and look at what she does there's also candy at the bottom these chromey mints and then they got me a bunch of snacks to take on plane rides and the airport but yeah, that concludes this video and I hope you guys enjoyed. Look forward to my Korea vlogs and also my study abroad vlogs. My next video is going to be in Korea, so I'll see you guys then.